Hey guys and welcome to episode 5 of The Journey. Episode 4 we talked about how I got started with little $5 sessions. You know, I was training people and started to build that on um, that weekend session up a little bit and creating those events and um, yeah, it was really the, the seeds to, to be planted early on um, to, to reap the rewards when we, when we launch our first 10-week program. Um, so at this time, I was still doing my course. I had about two weeks left and I, I knew I had to start building some relationships up. So I built some relationships up with um, Nikki from Eat Sense. I knew her quite well from um, Battlefit. Started to build some relationships up with the guys at Physio Sports Clinic um, as well as um, the boys at Next Gen 2. And it was, it's really important to align yourself with people that think similar to you and it was really great to build those relationships early on with those with those guys. Um, and at this time, I started to build my first 10-week program and how I wanted to look. I knew I wanted to start in May, as we spoke about in the last episode and, you know, did take a lot, of, a lot away from Pap's programs in Battlefield and, you know, how he ran... Um, you know, testing at week one, testing at week 10 and allowed people to see the progression that they made, which is really, really important. Um, so, you know, I constructed this program, you know, there was 10 sessions over the course of a week and people had the option of coming to, um, I think the, the mornings were mixed and the afternoons were an option of boys or girls. Um, and we were doing one session for 150 bucks for 10 weeks and two sessions for 260 um, and I remember this time, this is probably the first adversities I face and biggest second guessing, you know, when you start out, you're a registered business, which seems like such a big thing and it is because you don't know anything else. Um, looking at Excel spreadsheets, your outgoings versus your income, your predictions and stuff like that um, started to really stress me out and I was like, wow, like there's a lot more to business than what meets the eye. Um, you know, I remember having a lot of arguments with dad because he was just trying to help me early on and you know, looking at getting insurances and ordering the first equipment batch, you know, dipping into your savings because at this time there's, you had no money as well. So, you know, dipping into your savings and, um, yeah, it was a really, really interesting time and a time that I remember very clearly because um, it was the start and it was the first sort of second guessing that I had. But essentially... You know, what we started to do was um, I started to go around to a few schools and message a few schools and talk to them back and forth about, you know, did they allow people to operate in that space for an hourly rate? And we ended up going with Total High, which was a really great outcome because a lot of our members ended up being from Total High and still are today. Um, so I built that relationship up with them and I would run a handful of sessions there a week and a handful of sessions from home. And I'll chuck in some photos here so you can see, you know, the early days. You know, how did it start? What did it look like? Um, and it, it's really quite cool to see some of the people that were there from the start still with us today and the transformation that they have made, um, you know, as they got older and just little things like that. So, you know, we launched our first 10-week program and, it was really rewarding because when we launched our first 10 week program, we had 25 people, which is great. And um, to be able to do that um, felt really rewarding because I put so much work in leading up, knowing that I wanted to have a great outcome for my first 10 week program. I was really proactive leading up to it. I didn't just finish my course and expect and expect and expect. I had to work hard to get those people, I had to be consistent and persistent. Um, and it was a really great reward knowing that we had 25 people sign up and, you know, started the invoicing process, which my sister, um, helped me out with a lot and, you know, tracking payments and all that sort of stuff. And it was a really, really great, um, lesson in the first 10 week program. Um, and in episode six, we're going to talk about how we built on that and how we grew from that and, um, yeah, where we went from there was quite incredible and it was just really great and this episode was all about, you know, giving you guys an insight into our first launch of our first program and how fulfilling that was um, to get the ball rolling, which is a huge milestone. Mm-hmm.